I think every form of renewable energy will have its place in the energy transition, but it really mm-hmm. depends on the application. So when you talk about, you know, there's a there's a term that's used in the energy transition called the hard to abate sectors. Um, for some some may be familiar with that term. Hard to abate sectors are the ones that are going to be the hardest to address in terms of emissions reductions and and the ones for which there's no easy current clean energy solution. Well, I'll talk about that a bit more. One fifth of the world's energy consumption today goes towards creating heat for industrial processes. And today that's done by burning fossil fuels like coal and oil and natural gas. And it's going to be really challenging, you know, if not impossible to meet the climate goals without tackling this component of the fossil fuels um, and, and carbon emissions problem. So it's not just about creating clean ener- clean power and clean electricity, which is what m- people are mostly familiar with. So when you talk about, you know, wind power, for example, um, wind power, if you're in a, a place with good wind resource, very easily lends itself to uh, low cost um, energy in the form of power and electricity. But there aren't that many current renewable energy solutions that um, easily lend themselves to displacing fossil fuels for heat. And heavy industry uses a lot of heat. So if you think about the cement industry, the steel industry, lithium extraction, there are so many industries, and you know those are the high temperature applications, which is really the holy grail. Um, but then there's also low temperature applications like food processing and metals heating and you know different types of mining. All of these different sectors use a ton of energy in the form of both heat and power. And what is unique about heliogen is that we're using the form of energy that that most easily directs itself to any kind of application in heat. So that's one of the differentiators for us and one of the reasons why it'll be an important contributor um, to uh, carbon emissions reduction.